today we are talking about probes uh, it's a very very important subject in react in fact when you know how to use probes then you can create react applications easily uh, there are some subjects remaining but uh, like the starting point for you to know that you are a react developer is when you know how props work uh, we try to make it as easy as it can be but if you had any questions please just you know send me a message yeah. let's talk about props so we created this application we will go into the application folder cd props up okay clear let's run the application and see if we have We don't need to clean it up right now, we just want to have a functional application, a working application. Let's check it. And yeah. So what we do now course we clean this up until here okay we create a folder called components as I told you let's create a folder for employee.js here we create a function or a component called employee which is a function a higher um, an arrow function then return okay now let's default export it here in the return we just show employee and in our app.js we will import it employee from components employee and we will show it here so let's see if this works so if we check it we see employee here okay now we set we can have dynamic values here like if we have an h1 say employee and an h2 called name let's say frank miller something like that and an h3 job let's say engineer However, this is static values, and if we go to check our React app, we see that the static values are like um, appearing. If we want to make it dynamic, we said like we say we create a variable. Let's say name Frank Karim Cohen's job. We say doctor, and instead of Frank Miller, we say name and instead of engineer we say job so let's check our application and we see frank karim and job as i guess we have to zoom it a bit okay yeah <laughs> these two variables in this component so it works so long we have these variables but what if we have these two variables in our app.js does it work so if we check our it says like failed to compile and if we go to our application we see unexpected use of name unexpected use job is not defined so it means we have a problem on our application because this component doesn't have access 
to the parent component. While the parent component has access to, him, to it, this employee component doesn't have access. So how can we access dynamic values in the parent component? Well, we accessed actually very easily with props. Let me show you. So we say name equals to a dynamic value of name. This name and job equals to the dynamic value of job. Now, this doesn't work. Why? Well, because we still don't have the full access to these like values. So we have the data source here. We send the we send the attributes, but we have to have a way to show them. Now it should show here with one check. You say show me props. Now this is like HTML attributes but custom, you write as whatever you need here. However, to access in your, uh, like if you render employee here, to access it, you have to send props like to your child component. Props is an object, an object that has these values. Like here we have props as an object. In this case, we have two values, name and job. Name this job this so propose is exactly like this object that we have here so here we have the object we have to as an object use dot notation to access our values now let's return to our window to, to see what is the problem job is not defined but after a while it refresh it and if we change like in our vs code if we change the values in our app application to miller and to nurse it should pretty much do it on the fly yeah it does it so what are props? Props are used when the data that we want is somewhere else, in another component, in the parent component, for example. We have the data here. To access it, you create the props that you want. For example, name is the name of my prop, but it is value is this variable. Job is the name of my prop, but it is value is this variable. And since we use JavaScript, it understands that we want this name and this job and when we come to our component we have to tell it that we use props we have props and just like any other object we just have props here so let me show you a drawing or draw something maybe hopefully okay now if I go to my drawing let's say we have this parent component called app and if I can find the text okay this is app this parent component has a child component called employee let me copy and paste employee Okay, now if the data that we want is here in the, in the parent component, then we have to send this data through props, which we defined as an argument to our component function. After that, we can use this prop as an object and receive anything that we want. So if we get back to our VS Code, we have in our app two variables we want to access them we create custom but for example what if we have another component called say post.js and we do create 
post and we create an h1 called post and h3 called post like let's just say name and another s3 called job let's uh, did we export it no we should okay now let's import it and show it here let's check our react app and see if it it doesn't show anything for some reason maybe we have a problem in our post or maybe no now it shows it's, it just took some time so we have this but the same way we did for employee we can send the same data to post how like if you want to only send name we can say name or you can name this anything like title is equal to name now this attribute this prop title receives the value of name no matter if any like any number of component that you have can receive these values in different names but it doesn't show because we don't have any kind of dynamic value here let's say instead of job we say name now we can't because we didn't use props as an argument and destructure it now it should show name as dynamic and it doesn't yet but let's check now what is our mistake here if we look closely we see that our props here is title while we have name here as a value and name here as a prop as a, but here in the post we name the prop as a title and you should always refer to this title as a key of the prop object so while in employee we have name the same value in post is title because in our post we created a custom prop called title with the same value of name while in employee we create a prop with the name of name and the value of name so this is a point it's very important to be aware of props are a bit difficult at first but when you try it again and again I'm sure you will get it let's see if our project works let's go to react app yes we have Frank Miller now now as you see while we have two values here we have one prop here now we can have both values but show one of them for example if we remove job here let's see if it works let's go to our react app and we see job just got removed the dynamic value but it doesn't like break your code anyway so it's important to know while we have many values two values here two dynamic value which are reported from our app we can show one of them so you can de destructure the whole props whatever dynamic value it has but show as much as you want while on the subject of destructuring let's see if we can write this a better way write props a better way or the way that many developers write it 
how developers this is an object it means it can be destructured how we destructure an object we create two curly braces and write whatever variable that we have so in this case we no longer need props.title and if we get back to our application we see it works just as we wanted now props is just an object as we said so we can destructure it here or we can destructure it even here like name job equals to props it means create two variables of name of job from props and in this case we no longer need props.name or props.job we just need name and job as they are independent variables let's see if our application works it still works but the best way that most programmers you like these structure props is just inside the object just here since we have props we can destructure name and job and it works just as well if we go back to our application we see that it works one more important thing props as an object will take whatever we throw at it here like whatever dynamic value we want it will take it like this however there is one thing in every prop object which is called children now this children value in every uh, key in every prop we can use it this way say we don't want just the title we also want children how do we use children well let's just check it children okay and let's get back to our application we see nothing happened well children is used like this now in our post employee we have children after the title so what we do we remove this and make it like this and here write like the name is Bigfoot and let's see if our application works like h1 let's make it h1 and h1 and what's the problem here okay we've closed down the tag right here okay it seems to be the name is bigfoot what does it mean this uh, children tag well the children tag is mostly used for layouts for example you have a navigation let's create a nav nav.js you or we we say layout.js for example layout.js and we say const layout return and this and this export default layout and without any custom props we do have children prop, prop which we can destructure it from the parent object prop so we don't need to do anything to destructure the children prop from the props here we write children but before that we write like home or um, h5 home and after that h5 about and after the children we write h6 this is the footer at copyright something like this now in our app 
we want to wrap everything around this layout so we import it import layout from components layout let's say we have layout here and if we show it like that we see in our react application we have home about and this is footer copyright but what we want to do is instead of children show all other components so in our vs code like instead of children we want all other components what we do we simply cut this make this a component like this and put employee and post here so now if we get back to our application we see home about then other two posts then this is footer copyright what did we just see we see in our layout component we have home about above so it's shown as part of the component and we have h6 below so the footer is below and is shown and between them is children from the props so children means whatever we write we can write it here no matter what in our app.js which we imported the layout we show the layout above so it shows home and about then instead of children we show two other like you know components then layout below which is the footer so just for review this is shown then whatever we can put inside then this is shown because of props children and h1 the menu is shown then the components then the layout this is very very important this is how we create layouts and if you learn this props and children then you've learned a lot of like really the major concepts of react now let's create a small website with this we don't need these values we don't need logo and how do we build websites well in any website as you see you have navigation content then footer so what we do in navigation we create a header then children then we create a footer this children will be the content how do we go about it well in our components we create layout.js and just to make my job faster let's const layout return this now instead of introducing header and footer here we create two more components called header.js and footer.js now let's just export default layout let's copy this in header.js we change the names to header and header in footer.js we change the names to footer and footer for now let's return footer and header and in our layout we import these two import header from since we are in the same folder header what seems to be our problem well okay 
so we have header which we default we have footer which we defaultly exported and in layout let's say we have layout and if we use header okay it auto imported our header which for some reason was refusing to import and show footer the same here auto import but we want instead between header and footer to have children props or whatever the user wants to show so we destructure the layer the props of the layout and put the children here now in our dot app.js we just put layout and it auto imported it okay so now let's see what our app is showing if we go to the react app and refreshed we see header and footer because there is nothing between them well let's create the content we say content.js and it seems like my image doesn't work but that's okay we will have more practice and return and here we say this is post title and here let's see if lorem opsum works no it doesn't maybe we can quickly just install lorem see if we have it and this is how you install a plugin for visual studio if we get back to our content see if it works like this or it requires it doesn't work but that's okay we will just copy and paste some data like here okay in our app between the layout we will show content it didn't for some reason import it because we did we have not exported it export default content and we get back to our app and say content and auto import imported it from here now if we get back to our app and see what happened we should see it refreshed and it has refreshed that we have header we have footer and between we have the content now let's make this like a real header like we have a ul li home and li about li frequently asked questions if we look we have that that's just because in our header we change it the header to this ul html and if we go to footer we say copyright at 2021 react course something like that if we go to our application we see it is shown copyright this and we have header footer and content so this is basically how a react application is built